Hey guys, it's Cynthia, the fishing mommy. Today I'm out at my local pond and I'm gonna try to challenge myself in a new way. So what I'm doing is the no confidence lure challenge. I picked three lures that I've really never had any success on and I'm gonna be fishing with them. I'm gonna give each lure 30 minutes and try to catch a fish on it. So the three lures that I'm trying today are a topwater. In this case, it's the Weston Hypo Twist. It's got a boot tail that twirls around on the top of the water. Really cool action. Um, but I've never been really very successful with top waters, especially the whopper plopper type where they make a disturbance on the surface. So that is number one, the Weston Hypo Twist. We're gonna give that 30 minutes. Number two is shake a head. Now I know this is like a beginner type lure and everybody can catch fish on shaky heads, but for some reason, I just can't, I don't know why. So we're gonna try a shaky head with a zoom trick worm and see how that goes. And then number three is, wait for it, a chatterbait. Now who can't catch fish on a chatterbait? Me, I don't know why. So I'm stacking the deck a little bit. I got a brand new jackhammer still in the package and it's a perch color, which is similar to the forage in this pond. We have a lot of yellow perch in this pond. So I'm gonna try this yellow and black jackhammer and see if I can catch a fish. So again, I'm gonna give 30 minutes to each of three lures and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so here we go. 30 minutes starts now. And I'm just running this on straight braid. This is the Weston Hypo Twist with a boot tail. I did just notice, by the way, as I was opening it up that it comes with an extra boot tail. Huh. Interesting, it's not nearly as loud as a whopper plopper. I'm just trying some different retrieve speeds to see uh, what seems to make the most sense. I don't have a lot of faith in my topwater ability. I would say topwaters are my least confident bait. I don't catch a lot in them on them, so therefore I don't throw them a lot, so therefore I don't catch a lot on them. But, you know, it'd be awesome if this Weston Hypo Twist would change my mind. This obviously is not the ideal top water conditions as it is kind of the middle of the day. But we are in the early fall and uh, so at least the time of year should be right. There's a weed bed out here where I'm throwing. And I often catch fish. Oh, that was a hit. Oh, another hit. Come on. Oh, God. Okay, that fish hit this lure three times and didn't get hooked. Guys, get in the comments and tell me what the hell I'm doing wrong. How do I get three top water hits in a row in two seconds and not hook the fish? All right, let's try it again. I know there's a fish there, obviously. I was right. There's another bite. There we go. Bite. Oh, I got him this time. Oh my God, he came off right freaking there. How do you lose fish on treble hooks? Son of a biscuit eater. All right, so I learned something there. 
that fish bit and I didn't do anything. I just let him eat it and he was hooked. Guys, please help me out in the comments. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. That was really fun to get those bites, but not fun to lose the fish right at your feet. over this branch again, darn it. There's a fish. Oh my God, that looks like a decent one and he's over a branch, no! <laughs> oh my God. Did he come off? No, he's still there. Oh, he's still there. Yes. I caught a fish on the top water. I'm so happy. Thanks, buddy. Can't believe it. That's a decent one too. Man, MTB slam-ish. I caught a fish on just about every bait in this MTB box. The only one I did not catch a fish on was one that I lost. And my timer is at 19 minutes and 51 seconds. Um, that means it took about 11 minutes to actually land a fish on this topwater lure here from Weston, the boot tail. That is awesome. The next thing I moved to, a trick worm on a shaky head. And uh, I know this is a really basic, like beginner level lure, but honestly, I just never catch anything on shaky heads. So I'm giving every lure 30 minutes and we're gonna see what happens. Can I catch a fish on a shaky head with a trick worm? Is that a fish on there? Yep. <laughs> oh, little guy. You're kidding. <laughs> a decent fish. Dude, stop. Stop. It's a very decent fish. Right there at my feet. Hooked really very solidly in the corner of the mouth. Pretty nice fish. Very, very healthy. Thanks for the bite. All right, here we go. I've got my jackhammer tied on. One thing that's interesting, I never knew that jackhammers come with a um, snap swivel on them. Here we go. My first jackhammer cast. I've obviously thrown chatterbaits before, but not a jackhammer. I just don't feel confident in a chatterbait. It's, it would never be, you know, in the first five things I'd reach for. So that's why it made the list of no confidence baits that I'm gonna try today. I'm throwing this without a trailer. All right, I've got a timer set for 15 minutes so that if I haven't gotten a bite by then with no trailer, then I'm gonna try and put a trailer on and see if that makes a difference. But I have to say, I'm pretty sure I just had a bite. So my confidence is already rising with this chatterbait. Okay, so my confidence 
performance has not improved at the moment. You know, honestly, I'm probably fishing this thing wrong. Why don't you guys tell me what I'm doing wrong? I've tried this up shallow under here under these trees where they're almost always fish holding. I'm trying it out in this little grass over here, which actually is kind of a big fail because it keeps getting all mucked up with the dying grass. Um, I'm gonna try some casts out here in this open water. I'm sort of doing a straight retrieve. I've tried a straight retrieve at varying speeds and I've tried sort of jigging it a little bit like I'm doing right now. The jigging seems to give really nice vibration, but it's not eliciting strikes. Okay, we're down to our last 15 minutes here. What I've done is I'm still using the same jackhammer, but I have put a craw trailer on it. I'm using a striking rage craw. These are my favorite trailers for jigs, etc. So we're gonna give this 15 minutes and see if the trailer makes any difference on this jackhammer. So just to recap, we did, we gave 30 minutes time allotment to the West and Hypo Twist topwater and caught a fish very quickly on that. Very exciting. Um, lots of blow ups actually. And then I finally hooked one. <laughs> um, and then I gave 30 minutes to the shaky head with a trick worm. Caught a fish pretty quickly on that one too. I think it took about half the time. And now we're about halfway through the jackhammer's time. I haven't caught a fish yet. I uh, tried it first for 15 minutes with no trailer. Now I'm trying it for 15 minutes with a trailer. So at the moment I'm two for three catching a fish on my no confidence baits. You know, that's not too bad.